Hello, my name is Risto Letto. I work for Schneider Electric as a production relay trainer. Uh, today I would like to introduce to you how to set a low current function uh, for a typical feeder uh, using the ECG Pro and uh, ECG P3 range protection relays. Uh, in order to configure the relay, uh, we will need to know a few uh, data from the project and for that one we will need a uh, cinemite diagram. The CP ratio will be 300 to 1. Uh, we can do all the setting changes from the front of the relay. Uh, today we will use the very easy um, setting tool ECG Pro to do all the configuration needed to activate an overcurrent stage. After we establish the connection to the relay, uh, we will initially go to the general menu and submenu scaling. Uh, in this scaling menu, we will set the primary and secondary setting of the CT ratio. So in our example, the CT ratio was 300 to 1, will change. And we can have an automatic read-write function to the relay and in, in case we don't want that, after our setting change, we will download the change to the uh, relay. We can write changes, we can write current view or we can write all settings. In this case, I will select current view. Uh, in case some of the parameters will require a reboot of the relay, it will ask approval for rebooting now or reboot later. In this case, I will just accept yes, we allow the relay to reboot. It is important to do the scaling settings first because it will affect our uh, way of doing the settings for the protection uh, stages. After I have downloaded the relay as rebooted, uh, I will go to the protection menu and the first thing I need to go to is the submenu valid protection stages. In this protection stage, we will enable all the necessary settings. In this case, we will only enable the first stage over current stage. After we have enabled the over current stage, uh, we will go to the setting of the threshold. Threshold in uh, ECG P3 relays are always done in per unit values and the relay will reply after the download of the setting what would be the pickup setting in primary value. So in this case on the screen we have a pickup setting of 50% 0 0.5 times I domino which will uh, reflect to uh, 150 amp primary according to our scaling setting uh, 300 to 1 so 50% of, of 300 would be 150 if we want to change it we will click on the field and we will enter a new value after that we can uh, define we want to use uh, definite time, IC standard curves, IEEE standard curves, or it is also possible to use some special curves like RI, or we can define our curves by ourselves. In this example, we use definite time, and then operational delay we will set according to our need, maybe 100 milliseconds. After that, we will download settings again and the relay is ready to be taken into use for the overcurrent function. After we downloaded the settings of 0.8 to the relay, we will see that the pickup setting now changed from 50 to 240 amps, which is in according to the 80% of 300 amp, which we set as a scaling in the scaling menu. We selected the definite time delay, and that means that operational delay will be, as we have said, 100 milliseconds. In case we would like to use uh, uh, inverse time curves instead, we will 
see the change or the delay, we will in this case select the IEC code family and we could select the normally inverse code. Then uh, the inverse time coefficient will have a meaning as well, but we let us keep it as one in this case. And I download the settings to the relay again. After we have downloaded the changes to our relay, we can now see that the delay curve family become IC, uh, delay type is normally inverse, and the delay will now depend on a formula based from the IC standard. Uh, the relay will give you three points of uh, delay. So, for instance, if we would uh, inject uh, 20 times I nominal to the relay, the trip time would be 2.26 seconds. While if we inject four times I nominal, the trip time would be 4.97 seconds. You can see how simple it is to take into use and define uh, the settings for protection function in ECGP3 range from Schneider Electric. Thank you for watching this movie and for further information, please visit our website schneider-electric.com